Hi, and let's talk about online networking and in particular, the discomfort zone that a lot of people experience. And I guess this is about uh, introverts and extroverts. And the interesting thing is that you do find that a lot of extroverts struggle when it comes to online networking. They're great if you if they've got a networking event in a room full of 100 people. Uh, but when it comes to online, they don't know what to say or where to start. And weirdly, you find some introverts who are not very good with real world networking absolutely blossom and bloom with online networking because you have time to consider what you say before you say it. And I mean, this video is about WhatsApp groups, really. Uh, and it's about those fears. <clears throat> and it's often the starting point of knowing what to say is the issue, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert sometimes. Uh, so how can we overcome those fears so that you become comfortable? Well, like anything, it's to do with taking the plunge and actually giving it a go to begin with. And if you do that without even realizing it, you can become quite comfortable with it. And I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. Well, the starting point, and I'm, I'm going to talk about our, our WhatsApp groups, the linked online WhatsApp groups. We have a daily conversation. So all you have to do is ignore the rest of the chat in the group. And to begin with, at least, just focus on answering the daily conversation topic. Give us your, your opinion on that. Because... That's what it's all about. It's the daily conversation. That gives you, you don't have to think about what to say. We'll do, we've done the thinking for you. Uh, the other thing is Marmite. Uh, this is a kind of a, I think it's a yeast extract product, kind of a beefy type taste for those who don't know. You spread it on bread and some people either love it or hate it. And they did a really great marketing campaign and it's, Marmite has come into common everyday use, at least in the UK. And that's what WhatsApp groups are. Uh, the first barrier you've got is that Marmite perspective. Now, you've got to ask yourself, is that born of the fears that you have of online networking, or is it true? Because at the end of the day, it's just a medium through which people chat. And so reframe that in your own mind. Uh, that will take you out of the discomfort zone. You know, try and cover, call it, a, overlay that thought with a food that you absolutely love uh, and use that as your starting point to, so that you open your mind a little bit. Now, one other issue is that when you do give it a go, you, you post your take on that particular topic and you won't always get any response from anybody. Uh, the introverts and the extroverts alike can be affected by that. But most people who are used to these groups know it was just probably a moment where, you know, not many people were tuned in. So it's not that it's personal. It's just that there weren't that many people paying attention at that time. So one thing you can do is add a question to your uh, contribution on the daily conversation topic. So you can answer that and you can say, right, okay, well, this is what I think about this particular topic and then go and detail it. I just add a simple question at the end. Does anybody else feel the same way? Something like that. That increases the chance of a conversation starting with you being in it. Uh, and that's where you start to slowly move out of your discomfort zone and into a comfort zone because we all like to be heard, don't we? And if you do this, don't give up after one attempt. It's like uh, having one driving lesson taking your test and failing, think, okay, well, that's it. I'm never going to drive. You've got to keep on trying. You've got to have more and more lessons. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you become with it. There's a couple of other points which are worth mentioning. Uh, mute the group. Don't have it pinging away all the time, particularly as people from different time zones get active in the groups as they now are. Uh, so mute it. The other thing is, if you open the group and there's like 300 messages, just scroll right down to the bottom. Uh, 
join the conversation where it's at. As Pam has said before, elsewhere, uh, you don't go to a networking event for 10 minutes late and then you go around the room saying, can you tell me everything you've spoken about before I arrived? You don't do that, so don't do it in the WhatsApp group. Just reframe what you think a WhatsApp group is. It's just a place where people talk. So don't feel as though you've got to read everything. If anything, just go back to about between 7 and 9 a.m. each morning. That's when we post the daily conversation topic. Do that, and you are networking. You've made a contribution. You've escaped your discomfort zone. And isn't that easy? Somebody poses a question. All you've got to do is answer it. That's networking. That's online networking. So daily versus infrequent. If you never take part in the conversations, uh, you're not going to get as much out of it, quite frankly. So try and do it as often as you can. Some people do this daily. Some people get busy. So they have a couple of days off. That's fine. You won't be forgotten completely. But, you know, the more you do it, the more you'll get back from it uh, is, the, is the key piece of advice, I guess. And another perspective is don't have yourself labelled as a taker because Monday to Thursday, it's all about the conversations. This is building the foundation, if you like. And some of those, you're going to get more reaction than others. Sometimes you'll post and nobody will respond to you, but that's fine. You know, we've all got other lives to lead. Uh, and then on Friday, we ask everybody to pitch what it is you do because it's great building all those relationships, but isn't it great as well if people know what you do? Because the interesting thing about this is that we don't all have to be fantastic stage performers or extroverts or quite comical individuals. Uh, most people, when they go to a networking event or they consider public speaking, are terrified. And, you know, most people in the group, I would suggest... Uh, feel the same as you. You don't have to be the most sparkling personality to actually resonate with other people who are like you. Uh, I wouldn't say I am. I mean, I'd never been on video uh, until be just before lockdown. I've been getting away with it for years. Uh, so if, if I can change from being a complete introvert to actually going live on camera, sometime, going live actually, uh, this is recorded, but uh, then you can. So if I can do it, you can. Uh, all you've got to do to get out of your comfort, discomfort zone is, number one, join the daily conversation. Number two, consider posing a question within that to try and kick it off even more. That's good networking. Number three, pitch your business on Friday. That's it. And in, if you put this into perspective, it's only minutes every week to do that. So I hope that's been useful. And I hope I've done what I said we'd do, which was here's an easy way of escaping the online networking discomfort zone. Thank you very much for listening.